Today we celebrate the life of Saint Christina, the great martyr of Tyre. Saint Christina was from the third century. She was the daughter of Urban, the imperial deputy, an idol worshiper. Until the age of about 11, she knew nothing of Christ. When she reached that age, her father made her live in the top of a high tower in order to protect her from the world because of her extraordinary beauty. He planned to have her live there until she reached full maturity. All the comforts of life were afforded her, servants to serve her, material wealth and items, gold and silver idols that she may offer sacrifices to daily. However, the soul of young Christina was saddened and isolated. Looking out of the window each day at the sun and all the beauty of the world, and again at night at the wondrous constellations of the shining stars, Christina came to a firm belief in the one living God through her own natural understanding. Our merciful God, seeing her longing for the truth, he sent an angel to trace the sign of the cross upon Christina. The angel called her the Bride of Christ and instructed her fully in the knowledge of divine things. Then Christina destroyed all the idols in her quarters, which were mostly made of gold and silver, and gave them to the, to the poor, thus provoking wild fury in her father. He then brought her to trial and had her tortured. He then, after that, had her thrown into prison, intending to have her beheaded the next day. After this, two imperial deputies continued to torture this holy woman. Her suffering for Christ ended beneath the sharp sword. Christina's courageous endurance and the miracles she worked by the power of God converted many pagans of Tyre to Christianity. What we see here is the life of a saint who deeply loved and trusted in the Lord, was steadfast in her faith, and became a martyr for her faith, for Christ. St. Christina's parents were pagan and did not teach her about Christianity growing up. She did not learn of the faith until she showed a great desire to learn of God. This is an incredible detail and example from her life. God recognized St. Christina's longing for truth, her desire for truth, and God fulfilled that which was lacking. God saw that her heart was open and willing, and he saw her longing and blessed her with knowledge of the faith, so much so that her walk with Christ and her journey towards becoming a Christian became of the utmost importance to her in her young life. Even though she had everything that she could have wanted materially, which was provided to her from her father, it was clear that she yearned for something more, for something more out of life. Her father against her, and even when it was extremely difficult to be a Christian during that time, which meant death for her, she wanted to be part of the faith. In other words, she wanted to have a relationship with Christ, with our Lord. She wanted true everlasting life, not material wealth. She felt the love and embrace of our loving Lord, and it all started from a yearning, a desire, a longing to be connected with the Lord. That is the key. As I learned about the story of St. Christina, I realized that this is a question that we can all ask ourselves as a spiritual check-in. What is my desire? Do I have the same deep yearning to meet our Lord, to have a relationship with Him? St. Christina's life reminds us that we need to be people that strive to be connected with our life source, with Jesus Christ. And this all starts from a yearning, a desire, a yearning that comes from deep within our hearts. And it is not always easy and that is okay what is most important is that we honestly try to have a relationship with our lord making time to pray and fast reading the bible and doing good works all with meaning 
When God sees your honest desire to grow closer to him, he will help you and he will be with you. St. Christina became a martyr and went through great difficulty to stand up for her faith. He was her source of strength. And if we truly seek the Lord to struggle and grow in our journey of faith, then Christ will be our source of strength too. We are never alone. May Christ our God bless each and every one of us and help us to remain steadfast in our desire to grow closer to our faith, to our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.